Hi everyone, we're going to add numbers 1 through 100 in 1 minute or less without a calculator or formula and find the sum. This problem was presented to Frederick Gauss in the late 1700s. He was, I believe, born in 1777 and his contested age, he's, they say he was 8 years old. And the story goes that a lazy teacher uh, or a teacher that wanted to keep the students busy for a while um, asked the students to add 1 through 100, and he did it very quickly. And basically, this is what he did. He uh, wrote down uh, the numbers vertically, like 1, 2, I don't know if he wrote them all down. He was 8 years old, supposedly. And he went down all these and then he went down to 49 and 50 then he made a second column and it would be 51 uh, 52 all the way down to 99 100 and then he kind of matched them up and this is what you do without a calculator when you're trying to add numbers you're trying to find patterns like that and so he would he said 1 plus 100 is 101 2 plus 99 is 101, 50 plus 51 is 101, and 49 plus 52 is 101. And actually a better way to write this would have been 1, 2, all the way down to 49, 50, and then go across and write 51, 52, I'm not sure how he did it, and then go to 99 to 100. At this point what you could do is just go across that's 101, 101, 101, and 101. And what you see is if you, there's a total of 50 101s, or one, uh, 101. So 50 101s. And he probably broke it up like uh, 50 times 100 plus 1, since he's doing mental math. And that would have been 5,000 plus 50. So 5,000 plus 50 equals um, 5,050. So this is a better way. Uh, most uh, students kind of do it this way first. And now let's look at this again. We're going to come up with the sum formula, what he did. What he did is we have a total of 100 numbers, and we broke it into two columns, column 1, in column 2. So he took the two numbers and we're getting our sum formula here. 100 and we broke it up into two columns. Then he added the first number with the last number. So basically this would have been 50 times 1 plus 100 which is 50 if you distribute plus 5,000, which is a better way to mentally add that without a calculator. And so that gives you 5,050. So we can apply this formula for all numbers, and we get um, some total number. We're going to divide it into two, and then just add the first number with the last number. And there's your sum formula for arithmetic sequences. All right. The next videos I'm going to do are um, adding numbers that are multiples of five or add the, all the even numbers. We're going to talk about that. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.